Hello everybody, welcome to Candidates Cards on the Table. Today we're going to be discussing proposals related to corruption. And first up is Renel. Hello everyone. Our first candidate proposes first strengthening the mechanism for more citizen participation, increasing social control. Second, ensuring that political parties are democratic institutions that recognize the voice of people and find solutions. Third, promoting a reform that guarantee an independent electoral system. Fourth, the need for regional financial assessors who were appointed by an open process based on their merits. Uh, finally, extending public function, preventing it from being dismantled, solidifying administrative careers, and eliminating precarious contracts to guarantee continuity and commitment. A positive thing about these proposals uh, is that a reform to the electoral system is needed and strengthening political parties should guarantee a better democracy. And a negative point is that some of these proposals have been tried and the Congress has not accepted the reforms, so it is not clear how to reach them in opposition to the legislative. Hi everyone. The second candidate proposes, first, having a transparent campaign to ensure autonomy in government. Second, reforming the justice and electoral systems to eliminate the legal loopholes with which allow corruption to happen. Third, those who are convicted of corruption will not receive state contracts. Valuing meritocracy and the annual publication of tax returns by elected officials. True vigilance by the public on processes of public contracting. Government focused on the citizens. A good thing is that autonomous campaigns without financing from political structures should offer greater autonomy and may bring in a more ethical presidency and ju judicial and electoral reform is needed. A bad thing is that those reforms need Congress approval and the candidate does not provide details, details of how these or other proposals will, will be achieved. Hi everyone, our third candidate proposes first stop the practice of giving favors to Congress representatives in return for support for executive plans. Also, getting rid of those who have held positions in certain institutions for far too long. Second, transparency in the electoral system, improving the regulation of donations to campaigns and the public presentation of candidates' resumes. Finally, more state efficiency, by giving citizens more say over government actions, more protection and regulation of recompensation for those who report cases of corruption. A good thing is that this candidate wants to end the reciprocal um, favors between Congress and the executive branch. Also, a bad thing is that it's not clear how this will be done. Hi everyone, our fourth candidate proposes a more emphasis on the cost of corruption for the country, a reinforcement of current laws rather than the implementation of new ones, having corrupt functionaries pay with their own money and property, ensuring the state receives what it's owed and having better transparency in tax payments and the elimination of regional contralorías as they use too much money are, are not necessary. One good aspect of this candidate is that he proposes that the corrupts will pay with their own money, but one bad thing is that he does not focus on creating new laws for corruption and many will disagree with this point of view. Hi, the final candidate proposes to get rid of contracts which only benefit one entity, to limit council, assembly and congress representation to three periods, three, to use social networks to encourage more reporting and gathering of evidence on corrupt practices, four, to uh, prohibit those who give or receive bribes from having contracts with the state or holding public office, Fifth, to, to encourage civic education in the home and in schools. And lastly, that all budgets should be made transparent online with tools available for citizen monitoring. Well, a good thing is that limiting elected officials to only three terms will help combat career politicians who only seek economic benefits. 
Uh, however, a bad thing is that the candidate does not go into detail about how social media will be used to report corruption. It could be a double-edged sword. Okay, thanks very much, Arnold. Okay, all that's left to do now is to reveal the identity of the five candidates. Our first candidate is Gustavo Petro. Our second candidate is Sergio Fajardo. Our third candidate was Humberto de la Calle. The fourth candidate was Germán Vargas Lleras. So the last candidate was Ivan Duque. Oh, oh, oh.